A search effort is underway to find a missing woman who was last seen eight months ago on her ranch near Idlewild. Dia Abrams' family lives in La Jolla and is desperate for any information. News 8's David Goffertson spent two days in Arizona searching a remote area for the remains of the missing 65-year-old. Meadview, Arizona, population 1,200, a retirement community near Lake Mead that lives in the shadow of the stunning 2,000-foot Grand Wash Cliffs. We are searching the cliffs for the remains of a missing woman, Dia Abrams, who was last seen by her boyfriend, Keith Harper, on her ranch near Idlewild. Our mode of transport, off-road motorcycles, we are acting on information that the 65-year-old's body may have been dumped in this area. The search area is roughly 20 square miles and the location, extremely rugged BLM land. Our first destination takes us eight miles into Joshua Tree Wilderness to the edge of the cliffs. I got over there, stood out on the cliff and there was some wind, but right now it's seeming like it died down. Pilot Steve Jensen launches a drone to scour the face of the drop-off, looking for the remains of Abrams, who has been missing for eight months. The drone shoots 4K video and Jensen lets me watch using these virtual reality goggles. I can see the point of view of what the drone is seeing. As we scan the cliffs, we begin to realize just how difficult this massive search will be. We're trying to spot clothing that Abrams may have been wearing, or even more difficult, the decayed remains of her body. It's looking pretty good. I'm just having a hard time finding any bones. After hours of searching, we decide to move on to the numerous other locations where a body might be found. So why here? Why Grand Wash Cliffs, Arizona? Well, it turns out the last person to see Dia Abrams alive, Keith Harper, owns quite a bit of land out here. News 8 has learned Keith Harper traveled to the Grand Wash Cliffs area in May 2020, about a month before Abrams went missing. He owns 85 acres of land out here, and some of the parcels are right along the cliff's edge. I have no reason to bring harm to her. I love that woman. News 8 first interviewed Harper in August, two months after Abrams went missing from her ranch 11 miles east of Idlewild. Harper lived on the ranch with Abrams and he said they were planning on getting married. But two days after she went missing, Harper drove this RV from the ranch in California through Arizona to Aztec, New Mexico, where sheriff's deputies armed with a search warrant finally impounded the vehicle and took a section of the front seat as evidence. And that's not all. Have they served search warrants on your cell phone, on your house here? Oh yeah, we've had. We've had our cell phones, our computers, they were all taken. Court records show Harper has a criminal history out of Colorado. The year 2000, domestic violence assault. 2011, unlawful sexual contact for groping two women during a snowmobile tour. He was ordered to register as a sex offender. 2013, illegally operating all-terrain vehicle tours on U.S. forest land. Sentenced to four months in custody. All his convictions ended up being misdemeanors. Was Dia aware of your criminal oh, history? Oh, absolutely. Harper has now taken over as trustee of Abrams Ranch near Idlewild. Andy has power of attorney over her estate under the terms of a trust that Abrams transferred property into just two weeks before she went missing. Even so, the Riverside Sheriff's Department has not publicly named Harper or anyone else as a suspect in Abrams' disappearance. We spent two days searching the plateau above the cliffs, looking for loose dirt, clothing, or bones along miles of high desert roads and in dry creek beds. But we left Meadview, Arizona, still asking, where is Dia Abrams? David Godfordson, News 8. Keith Harper did not respond to multiple messages from News 8 seeking comment. We reached out to the Riverside Sheriff's Department, but a spokesperson did not provide any update on the investigation.